Salute, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of EU4 Morocco. Oh, so guys, as you know, we are in a, a desperate war right now with the mighty empire of Henges who are destroying us back to back. I mean, we are facing so much hellfire from them. I mean, I don't think we'll ever be able to defeat their massive empire. I mean, look at that. They have 3,000 men. Oh, and then don't forget their ships, guys. It's not just their manpower, but it's their ships, too. Look at their ships. They have 29 ships. One's even a heavy. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> okay. On a side note, guys, I'm going to have to group up all these men right here. And hello again. This is going to be the episode where I'm probably going to take a lot of land from, from our good friends, Head... Henges, and basically cripple them in this region so I don't have to really think of them as a power anymore. From there, I think what I'm going to do is finally declare war on our good friends, the Mamelukes, and you know, casually take all their land. And yeah, that's gonna happen today. Just yeah, just keep destroying all their army over here. I don't really care what you do, just destroy all their army. Okay, and by the way, we do have this like random force stack over here just guarding this island, but um. Somebody's been commenting about that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry, guys. I started laughing because I thought that was like a ship going across the water. I was like, whoa. This isn't total war graphics here, baby. All right. So let's just destroy these guys right now. But yeah, we were just about to... Uh, I was just thinking like... I've been just seeing like these random spots of like troops everywhere laid across my empire. And some people have been giving me a little bit of heart for that. They've been like... James, you should do this to get the empire maximized, and you should do this to get the empire maximized, and you should do this. To the I'm just like, I don't really care that much. They're kind of, if they're not a part of my main body of soldiers, I don't really care. And obviously, they aren't that too important because I don't really have them part of my main army anyway. So, you know what I mean? So, just quit bugging me about it. It doesn't really matter, so yeah. Besides, uh, this is just this is just a, a kind of war where we're just kind of just mopping up everything. I mean, look at this. This is this is going to be over in literally two seconds. We won't even have to really like fight it. But uh, if, if you guys really want, if, if it really bugs you that much, just imagine they're not there. That should help you guys a lot. Okay, and anyways, we have like three different, we have like, I think we have like five colonies going on right now. Oh my god, so many troops I have to, I have to deploy. Let's see, yeah, five colonies going on right now. And then we're going to be moving on to all this land, and soon this will all look so nice. I can't wait, this is all going to look really, really nice over here. Can't wait. And then we'll also have our men, a new gigantic army created by yours truly. Let's go send it, what should it guard? You know, I can actually guard my capital because I really don't have any protection over here. Um, and then I think while we're also right here, I think it's also time for us to see who's in the coalition against me right now. Allied with Crimea. Ah, uh, Crimea's at war with someone. At war, at war with Lithuania, Moldova, Moldavia. Hmm. There seems to be something going on in Europe. I'm gonna have to check this out for a second. Lithuania is at war with both Hungary and Crimea. Crimea is at both war with Moldavia. Okay, okay, now I get it. Now I, I, get, I get the political situation now going on. Anyway, so what we're going to do, guys, is since the Mamluks have officially decided that, hey, we don't, we're not going to be allies with them, we're going to use this opportunity to maybe declare war on Ethiopia. Uh, no, they still got the alliances. Dang it. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to casually... Uh, Weaken our good friends over here of the Mamelukes because I actually did want them in on the war. Uh, Kilowa in the coalition, Kilowa Iraq. Hmm. Gosh, G Willikers, that is such a big alliance. Let's see, can I declare war on any of these guys to set up the coalition? No. Let's go right here. Alright, G Willikers, that is such a big alliance right there. I don't think I'll be able to take them on. It, and it isn't like I'm going to right now just fabricate a claim onto all of them because I do realize how weak they are. No, it is nothing like that. Let's see, what do I do? I do want Negan, so... Let's see... Oh, uh, Negev. Negev, sorry guys. I thought there was an N, but it's Negev. So, anyways, let's get back to our usual war conquest selves. 
Uh, preparing for like multiple wars is what we do best. And I have a massive war chest right now too, so it's not like I'm just doing this free willy-nilly, it's because I actually do have a decent war chest. Quality Ivory. As expected, new colonists just finished, that's good. Knowledge is power, knowledge is power. <laughs> Revolt risk or lose prestige. Knowledge is power, everyone, that's all I gotta say. Okay, so YOLO is now officially a colony, so let's go move over to over here. We could actually, you know what, just for now, we could probably not do another colony. Just keep like the four colonial stance we have. Because I don't really want to raise wartime taxes and increase our, uh, our stuff. So, yeah, let me go crush these guys too. Uh, yeah, you guys stay right there. No, no, no. I like how this is going right now. You guys are sieging the exact provinces I need you to siege. Okay? And then you guys are all retreating, which is kind of annoying me. And yeah. This is all coming together into a massive, like, it, it feels like I almost planned this. Persia's being a complete jerk to them over there. That's kind of mean, per Persia. I'm not even going to deny. That's like... Completing another like mean territory, just like destroying those poor defenseless armies. You guys, can I move you? Oh, finally I can move you. Okay, you guys move back over here. And while well, I'm just gonna let my, uh, I'm just gonna let my vassal like siege down everything because, like I said, if I let them, I'm pretty sure this is how it works. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna verify it right now. If I, if they siege up the province, do I have like no diplomats to send right now? Really? That's kind of. Oh, I have like a couple. Oh yeah, I'm still improving relationships with uh, good friends, Great Britain. Good friends, Great Britain, will you want an alliance? Yes, you will. So I'm going to stop that. Do 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 do. All right. So then I'm just going to send them. First, I'm going to send them back. Get this alliance. Because why not? We could we could team up with the biggest naval, the other biggest naval power in the game. I mean. I mean, why not? I mean, we can't team up with the biggest, like, land powers because they both simultaneously hate us. France and Russia. Well, actually, France could potentially become a friend of ours, but most likely they'll continue to hate us for all eternity. So, it's really not much of a good idea to do that. So, just teaming up with Great Britain, probably a good idea. Besides, I won't really be dealing with Great Britain's sphere of influence for a very long time, so... Yeah, they, we could probably become good buddies with them. Anyways, we are also going to, like I was about to say, oh, we could probably have you guys patrol the fleet in Constantinople, because we're, we're the big producers there, but, like I was about to say, oh no, oh no, I'm going to test this out to see if I can even, if my vassal does conquer stuff, do they count as his, or do they count as mine? So if they count as his, then, then that's good, that's exactly what I want to, I want to just make my vassal gain all the war extension, so that when I annex them later, you know, it'll be a good annex. The king of the Roman Empire is Bohemia. That usually never happens. <laughs> Truth be told, that usually never happens. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys probably already know this answer because you probably can look it up with your fancy, dancey thing called the internet. But for me, who's a YouTuber and who's just kind of freeballing it, I really don't know. So... Okay, so... Apparently, by what it says, is that my person that I'm annexing right now can gain a province, but... Uh, is there a Okay. Okay, this is what I want. Hmm. I also do this, too. Okay. Any release nations? Morocco Protectorate. Nah! <laughs> but I don't really care about that. So yeah, this is what we're fighting for in this war. All the stuff we just listed is all what we're fighting for, and now since I realize what we are fighting for, I don't really have to like be passive-aggressive, so let's just speed up the time a little bit and just start carpet sieging. Cause I, don't think, I don't think they have a big enough army anymore to try to fight us. Or, I should say, they really can't raise up a big enough army to fight us. Not with our advances in technology and everything. Thank goodness, Western powers. That's all I gotta say. 
Thank goodness for Western powers. You guys, you guys can combine down here. Or you guys are sieging up the rest of his land. And yeah, this looks like a beautiful war right now. We got a claim on the Mamelukes. Um, let's see. We'd be at war with Crimea. If I was to declare this, we'd be at war with Crimea. I was preferably going to want to attack Crimea once Russia attacked. You know, like in some kind of weird war that claimed everything. And also, my ally is a war with Russia. This isn't good. <laughs> oh, it seems like it's a war be because this is such a messed up situation right here, right now. Because this is like completely the opposite of how it actually turned out in real life. Like, England is settling Mexico and the Spanish are settling all of Eastern America. This is completely opposite of how it is in the history books, and it's messing me up in terms of eternally, because I keep thinking England's going to be like right about here, but it's not. But anyways, Russia's at war with them because they were allied with Castile, probably, and that's how it brought it in, and that's how a big, gigantic war conflict happened. Anyways, it's all boring political stuff. So let's continue, though. And, oh my goodness. Yay, sieges! Okay, let's move on. Next siege. And I really got to turn off my uh, internet like when I'm doing these kind of recordings because I know sometimes I don't want to get that one awkward moment where like I'm recording and somebody sends me like a message and it's like dude dude I, I did this really really uh, important thing that might be illegal yeah I did it I mean like I, dude I just recorded what you said on YouTube and I don't have the, the like video editing skills to edit that out so yeah have fun with the cops later. <laughs> ah, man. Yeah. No, if it's something actually like that ever did happen, I probably would have a contingency plan, but it would be for a little bit. I would probably be very worried about that video. Very worried. And this seems to almost be going good. We almost seeds up all the doll. Um. See, I know if I fight Crimea. See, okay guys, this is, the re this is the reason why I'm kind of holding off on the war Crimea. Because I already know if I fight Crimea, I'm going to be, they're going to be a, a pain to deal with. I fought, I fought Crimea before, like just as the Ottomans, and I usually, this is how it usually happens. I forget about Crimea entirely, and then I just focus on these guys, and then eventually what happens is that they finally do do something, and they crush my army that's over there, and I get so mad, and it gets annoying, so... What I, might, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to wait until this war is finished. And I got another self-sustaining colony, which is good. Going to move my soldiers in for... So, threat and trade. Ah, th uh, they were threatening my trade. That is not a good sign right there because that means they usually want war. Okay, we call this guy right here. Uh, send him right here. Yeah. We're just going to casually keep moving into all of our land. Because as you guys can see, we have so much land to fill in, but we're almost getting there. We're almost getting there. But yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just worried about that because I know... Okay, we do have an army over here. They're allied with the Mamelukes. See, I just know. I just know from my own personal experience, I will forget about these guys. Okay, you guys are about ready to give up what I want. Yes, you guys are. You guys are ready to give me back everything I said. Yes, yes, you guys are. I'm not. I'm not even getting anything out of this war, which is a surprising thing. So, yes, give us all of what I just asked you for. Send demands. Thank you. Oh, thank you guys. You guys were. So, oh, that's that's so nice of you guys. You guys were such a nice con contribution. Now look at you guys. You guys are now completely pathetic and weak. And now, since that is true, now hey, a doll buddy. Let's become friends, and I know I'm over my first limit. No, I'm not. Oh, Sweden must have canceled my alliance. Well, that's that kind of stinks. But on the plus side, we now are gonna have a doll as our little buddy. Hey, little buddy, you guys can be Diplo Annex, right? Because I didn't want. To... Oh, goodness. Let's do that. <laughs> I don't like losing money. Okay, but yeah, you guys can be Diplo Annex, right? You can royal marriage you. Let's see. Influence. No, because I'm too technologically advanced. Shoot. Okay, well, I can dissolve the alliance and nothing will happen. That is the best part about this, is I can dissolve the alliance and nothing bad will happen to me. Because I did not royal marriage them. So it's a good thing I did not royal marriage them. And while we're also on the subject, hey, Mama Lukes. 
Hey, you got even more of a powerful alliance. Now you got Kilwar and Iraq. Hmm. Still not a powerful enough alliance to like defer me from attacking you guys at all, but I don't know, you guys you guys do make powerful alliances. Let's see, is anyone gonna join in? No. So no point in calling you guys in. Let's go though! More war! <laughs> more war, everyone! More war! More war! Okay, you guys go down here, you guys go right here, and I think I'm gonna have this army siege up all this land. You guys go right here too, because I need you guys to go siege up all this. You guys over here. You guys go siege up all of Iraq's land. You guys just make sure that make sure these stupid Crimeans don't interfere with anything down over here. And you guys down here go down to here and let's go siege up these guys again. Oh my goodness, they annex Hey, thank you! Thank you, Killwall. You did my job for me. Uh, yay! This time I'm not gonna be that stupid and realize I, ca I can't diplo annex these guys. And plus, I have an advisor slot. Let's see. I need to keep it up to about three, so I need at least a two. So let's get like a two at least. Okay. Apparently, I, it's be I'm having too many militaristic leaders right now. Oh, right. I, I see. I see. I have a great, a great commander. And a great fighter. Wow. Sadly, though, I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm gonna have to say this now. Oh no. Oh no. The massive armies. Oh gosh. No, stay right here. <laughs> oh goodness. The massive armies of the Mamelukians have finally come to claim the revenge. Oh gosh. I don't want to be in this war. Okay, just run. Everyone, run. We are not going to be in these battles. Yes, let them pass. I will let them. Yes, you guys get to have all your sieging fun. Okay, I'm just going to sit here and watch this, and you know, just kind of con just contemplate all this. All this is happening. You guys, though, you guys get to be the attack force because you guys are like have insanely good general. Insanely good general will basically beat back anyone, and my allies are idiots. Look at that. Oh, that is just so devastating. We don't even have a. Ch oh, there it is. There's that, there's that Crimean annoyance. Ah, I miss you guys so much. <laughs> yeah, now now they're gonna come down in full, and now we're gonna have like major annoyance by them. First, let me get this done. Production efficiency is now great. Ah, man, and our technological growth right now is the greatest it's ever been. Fighting style, though, we're not the greatest, and you know what? Because I feel worried about this war a little bit, I'm gonna go send this army over here. Because I might need it. I'm gonna be honest, I might need it. <laughs> oh gosh, and then there's this province right here that I can't convert. Oh man, that's not, that's not gonna be annoying at all. Okay, you guys. Okay, you guys, go back here so you guys don't get squashed by the 27 death stack. Because that 27 death stack is not exactly friendly to us. But, I do have a great commander, so if they do try to attack us... No! Friends of ours do not attack! Okay, we're crushing the Crimeans. And I bet somebody's pointing out the obvious. Well, James, you have, like, the militaristic advantage. That is true, but... This game is sometimes very weird, and sometimes I feel like I don't set up my government the right way, so... Yeah. It sometimes just become a massive cluster. Yeah. So... We have three armies right here just protecting. Okay, seems like they have this. And you know what? Since this army is just. This guy isn't very really good at like sieging. What I'm going to do is quickly like. I'm just gonna split off like one soldier. Uh. Hmm. No, 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 no. Like, split off everyone but one single guy. There we go. You. Go to this side, and we're gonna have you in charge of this army right here. Because you would be pretty good at leading an army. Yes. Ah, that actually, hey, that actually panned out pretty well. So now we got an entire army right here dedicated to you. We're going to go have you guys go fight the Crimeans. Because I don't think, I, I don't think this is going to be much of a battle down here. You guys, go. let's go start sieging up the land. Yay, the siege of Niglev. Okay, let's go move you guys right over here. Mm, man. And then Barsoda, yeah. This is so, yeah, the, the Iraqis are hiding in Persia right now, so can't really do much about that. I'm just going to have to deal with it, but my other army of Mansur is going to go kill these guys. Slaves! Oh! 
You guys love it when I tell you guys I love the slave trade. Oh. If only that was true, though. Oh, man. Okay, so let's go keep... Ah! Dang it. Okay, guys, I'll see you guys next time.